Well, Charlie, it looks like we have another Jefferson's bourbon. You have your Jefferson shirt on. I came prepared today, so looks like we're going to go uh, take, take a boat ride, maybe? Where are we going? To the tropics. To the tropics. Hi, welcome to another edition of What's New at Charlie's. Well, we're getting on a boat. We're going to Singapore with our buddy Trey Zoller and some Jefferson Tropic uh, bourbon. My good friend, Mr. Don Williams of Bourbonful. Don, how are you doing today? You know, Charlie, every time I think that I've figured out everywhere he's aging bourbon, I find out another place. I know. That's the great thing about Trey. He's always thinking ahead, out of the box. So that's one thing I really like about him. So this one was aged in Singapore. It says aged in humidity. Aged in humidity. So, so, so what do you know about it? So that's equatorial humidity. Uh, where, but the other cool thing is, this is actually still technically what I would call an ocean barrel because it traveled on a ship to Singapore and it traveled on a ship back. Absolutely. Why wouldn't it be? But they don't label it as an ocean. They just label it as tropic, so it's a special edition. Right. Um, it's a little higher proof than what we're used to from these guys, right? 104 versus 90, which uh, I'm excited about. Absolutely. And uh, so the thought is it's hotter, more humidity, the barrels will evaporate yeah, at and, a faster rate. And, and the bourbon will mature quicker. There you go. You know? So they started with like a 10-year bourbon, right? That, that's right. Correct. And then, does it say how long they were in Singapore in it? You know, or how long it sat there? You no, know, I, I really didn't pick that up uh, as how long you know the additional aging was, but it was mature bourbon to start with. Right, I was just say at ten years, it's already a, a good quality bourbon. So that's right. Um, just how long it takes to get over there and back is going to be a little while, right? Right. So that's why, even though they don't market it that way, I look at it as it is an ocean bourbon that's also being aged in Singapore. Yeah. So they do anything special with the barrels or anything special yeah, so, other than that you know so, of? Or? Yeah. So the barrels are, I'll, I'll are, pour while you're talking. are flash charred and grooved. And what I think what they do with the grooves is they try to give it more surface area for the whiskey to, you know, react to. Um, but you know, Trey is an innovator, and uh, you know Jefferson's been doing that kind of stuff for a long time. Now, a couple of weeks ago, we did the Sinatra, Jack Daniel Sinatra, and they had grooves cut in the barrel. That's remember, right. Remember how good that was? That was fantastic. That was fantastic. So, uh, high expectations going into this one. So. That's right. Cheers, Cheers, my friend. Wow. You know, it's a lot of fruit forward whiskey mm -hmm. lately. Yeah. It's got a lot of spice though too. It does. It must be a high, it must be a high rye bourbon. Do, do you know what the mash bill is? Is it, you know, they don't uh, really they, usually give you that. Yeah, they don't, you know, and, but I will tell you what we're tasting there is the 104 proof. Yeah. Uh, but I think it has a unique uh, taste, and you know, let's call it what it is. It tastes tropical to me. I mean, it, does it really taste a does. Tropical, yeah, yeah. I get that. So, um, I'm getting a lot of pepper. So there's a lot of rye spice there. Yeah. Uh, but fruit and light fruit. So it, it's mango, a little bit of uh, maybe, I still get some like cherry yeah. out of it. I don't get as much vanilla like the Jack Daniels did with the chard, with the grooved barrels. I mean, just, yeah. just comparing the two. Well, but, the, yeah. the, the fruit overwhelms on yes. this. I, yeah, it yeah, really yeah. does. So you get the sweet fruit up front and then that peppery finish. Yeah. It's really a unique product. It is very unique. Um, so amazingly so, did you know that Jefferson's is about 25 years old already? Really? It's hard to believe. No, it seems like they were brand new to it, the market, but yeah. It, it's really hard to believe, but wow. they, they've been around for a while. But another great choice at Charlie Still on Me. Yeah, you know, Trey's always thinking outside the box and coming up with something new. Um, really love 
love what he does, and, and I love this one. This is going to be a great addition here to Charlie. So come out, give it a try. Take a trip to Singapore with us. Cheers. Cheers, buddy. Thank you, everyone, for watching.